Hey, hey developers, today we're gonna look at a really awesome website called Pramp.com that'll help you with your interviewing skills. So Pramp.com is an absolutely free website. I'll show you how it works, how you can get one-on-one -on -one technical interviews with other people, how companies are going to be contacting you to get jobs, which is awesome. And also we're gonna go through an actual mock one-on-one -on -one interview with my friend Dylan. So stay tuned all the way to the end. You won't wanna miss it. So here's the website, it's pramp.com. So this site allows you to practice your coding interview skills live. And what that means, unlike other websites that help you practice technical interview skills, this one actually puts you in front of someone. You do a one-on-one -on -one live coding interview with someone and you'll have a video conference with them. They'll actually interview you, you interview them, and it really gives you a lot of insight on what you need to work on. So maybe you need to work on your soft skills. That's a great thing that Pramp.com can help you with. So you can know how to ask questions to an interviewer. You can try to just practice not just the technical interview skills, but also the people skills that you'll need when getting a technical job. So that's why I really like this Pramp.com. Also, it's absolutely free. You don't have to be charged anything. You can sign up for free. You can sign up for any time and it's really neat that way. Another really cool feature of Pramp.com, it actually is not just for people trying to get their interview skills up, it actually matches you with companies. So if you go to the how it works section here, you can see here, you get fast tracked at companies, no resume needed. So what happens is after you do a, a few of these mock interviews through Pramp.com, they'll identify your strengths and they'll actually match you with people that are interested in the skills that you have, so employers. They'll never share your information without your permission though. So you don't have to worry about having your all your information free and out there for people you don't want to see. And then they'll actually book interview inter interviews with you with top companies. They'll schedule the phone screening directly with the hiring manager. You don't have to even provide your resume. You can meet over video and code execution using the platform, and you can actually use Pramp.com for some of your interviews. Um, so you get fast tracks to this to the site. So that's really cool about this platform. So once you start getting those skills involved, you're doing these interviews companies will actually come and start approaching you because they'll see how well you're doing at these interviews and they'll want you want they'll want to interview for you for your job. And like I said, it's absolutely free and they're not going to be sharing your information. This isn't Facebook, don't worry about that. So I thought I'd go ahead and log into the system here and I'll show you a little bit how it works and then we'll go through an actual mock interview. Okay, so here's the actual website. I'm logged into the dashboard now and you can see here I have an interview rating and this is out of 5 stars. So this is kind of based on if I showed up to all my interviews, how well I was interviewing other people. So you can see right here, is calculated from your peers' feedback about your role as the interviewer. So if you're really good at interviewing, these stars will go up. And Pramp.com is good that if people are interviewing but they're not taking the site seriously or they never show up for any of the interviews, they're gonna have a low score. So it's not going to, they're not gonna be paired up in matches often. You start off with six credits but you can actually get more credits by sharing Pramp.com on social media. You also get more credits after every interview you complete. So don't worry about that. Then you have a reputation score too. You can see here, it's calculated based on your no-show count below. And then you have, if you have any no-shows, you get marked down right here. And then nice thing about this is every time you go through one of these mock interviews, you get graded on how well your problem solving skills were, your coding skills, communication, and then you can practice those actual, uh, those problems too. So you get you, the questions you were asked, you can see what questions you asked other people, and uh, you have also a bunch of feedback. So that's really nice about it is that you can kind of cater and get better as you go along. So let's jump into a live interview. So there's two ways to make interviews. One is to get another practice interview and you click here and it'll load this interface and then you'll put your time zone in if it didn't automatically detect it. And then you just put in the time that you're available. You click next and then it'll go ahead and match you. And once you're matched, you'll see something like this in your upcoming practice interviews. You'll have a time and date for it. You'll have the language that you selected and then you won't know what questions you're gonna be asked or you're going to be, uh, what you're gonna ask other people until it starts and it gives you option to cancel or reschedule. There's a new feature called practice with a friend. So I'll go ahead and show you how the practice with a friend works. It's a pretty much exactly like it'll work with the practice interview. 
um, except that you'll have to come up with some of the interview questions yourself. I'll show you how that works. So let's go ahead and me and Dylan, we'll go ahead and through a practice interview and what you should expect. Okay, so I'm here in the PRAMP interview with Dylan and he we have a problem here. So the way this works is that Dylan can interview me and I can interview Dylan so we can really practice our algorithm skills. And as you guys know, al algorithms are a really important skill to have when you're interviewing for any kind of uh, coding tech job. It's pretty ubiquitous as Dylan and I know. Uh, we're both developers. So I, I went ahead and put a sample problem up here. So Dylan's going to go ahead and work through the problem. Um, and we're going to see what we come up with. Yeah, so um, the, the problem here um, is we're going to sort the array of strings that are being passed in. And we want it to be sorted from smallest to largest. So in our input here, we can see that we have multiple string inputs. In our output, you'll see that it's been nicely sorted. Um, the way that I'm going to start is by defining our function. And I'm going to call this sort by length. And like that. And uh, it's going to have an input. Um, and because we're not, if we were using TypeScript, I might name it something slightly different because we can assign the type to our parameter. But because we're not and we're using JavaScript, I'm going to say uh, str array as our input. Now, all we really need to do for this problem is we can do this using the array method sort to sort it by the length of the string. So we're going to return this str array sort and using a uh, arrow function. We'll go ahead and have, um, we'll just call this str1 and str2. And we're going to, we're going to subtract str1's length from str, or we're going to subtract the length of str2 from the length of str1. And that will give us our sorted array uh, at the end of the day. And that's pretty much it. So you see that it's pretty simple. Uh, so now since Dylan is, I interviewed Dylan. Go ahead, Dylan. Uh, let's see. We can actually put up another problem, and then he can interview me. So let's try that. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'll just give you like a ridiculously hard one now. No, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> like write a recursive solution to the meaning of life. Uh, <laughs> what is? Um, uh, all right. Uh, what is something like this? Um, add all numbers in and in the array and we'll have an array i'll just put something like one comma two and our expected output will be a single number so is that six ten fifteen so one thing cool about pramp is that we both share the same space here so as i type he sees it and as he types i see it and we can kind of give us each other feedback. We have the video conferencing, audio conferencing. So let's see here. Let's do let error equals so and then we can add all the numbers in the array. So you just want to do I don't know. Um, we could probably do a filter map or reduce. We could probably reduce it. I don't know. AR. Yeah, I would say reduce is the best one. In this example. And then uh, we'll just return. Let's see here. ARR. Uh, I think we have an accumulator too, don't we? Yes. So if we have an AR, I probably would do it like this. Something like that. Now, can we run it? I wonder. Oops. Uh, yeah, if you, in the bottom left corner, we click run, run code. Let me try that. Run code? Yeah. Finish executing. Uh, yeah, and if you, you could wrap it on console log if you want to see the output. Fifteen. Nice. All right. So, yep, that's as easy as you can do it right there. It's just a really quick um, way of... of you can see here, Dylan was able to walk me through. I asked a few questions to understand how to run the code. I was thinking uh, in a map filter reduce. He kind of guided me the right way to say, you know, reduce is probably the, the best way to doing it. So you can see here how we can collaborate and, and do these problems really easily. So what do you think, Dylan? Of Pramp? I, yeah. I think it's a very powerful uh, tool. I'm a big fan of it. I've used it in the past, and I think it's important to put 
to yourself in a, a mock interview environment because uh, nerves play an, a factor in technical interviews. And so this is, a, this is a very real simulation to what the real thing is like. Exactly. Yeah, and that's what Pramps is great about. And now we did this practice interview, me and Dylan, just one-on-one -on -one here through a friend. And in this instance, we can kind of make up whatever problems we want to ask each other, which there's uh, tons of problems out there. We could actually even go back into our dashboard um, our PRAMP dashboard and look at previous interviews and see problems that we may have had problems on with other people and taking those and put them in here and then kind of practice that way too, which is just an awesome way to do it. So the other way to do it through PRAMP.com is you actually schedule interviews and you're just randomly chosen with other people on, on the internet. And then it's the same instance. Well, you're actually actually given an, uh, a problem that time. And then it's the same thing. They'll interview you with a problem and you interview them with a problem. So it's just a really great way to get good at algorithms. Yeah, I, I would say it's it's more than just algorithms too because uh, most of, most technical interviews will soft start with a sort of soft technical interview. Hey, let's ask, you know, answer some questions about your your language of choice and just sort of lead into the technical interview, sort of ramp up to it, and it's a great way to do that as well. Cool. All right, thanks, Dylan. No, no problem. All right, you saw there that I was able to talk with Dylan. I was able, he was able to give me a problem. I was able to give him a problem. We could actually, we actually are able to work on our soft skills at the same time. So that's kind of how Pramp.com works. Uh, like I said during the interview, if you were actually inside the other Pramp.com where they're matching with someone else, they actually give you a problem that you have to tell the other person they don't actually get to see the problem, and that person gives you a problem that you don't get to see. So you don't have to make up the problems on the. Uh, make up all the problems. So, uh, so that's just another way of doing it. But you can see how this is a really powerful tool. I would check it out. Go to pramp.com. I actually have a link below for you guys to click. Click on that link if you're going to sign up for it. That really helps me out. And uh, I want to just thank the people at pramp.com for sponsoring this video. Thanks.